A government shutdown has been averted, at least until mid-November. The House and Senate passing a funding measure, a deal that will keep the government funded for another 45 days, this coming just hours before the midnight deadline. The deal, including $16 billion in disaster relief requested by the White House, but no new aid for Ukraine. Despite the bipartisan vote, some expressed concern over the lack of funding for Ukraine. We will not stop fighting for more economic and security assistance for Ukraine. Majorities in both parties support Ukraine aid, and doing more is vital for America's security and for democracy around the world. The final stop is President Biden's desk for his signature, keeping the government funded for another 45 days. Earlier today, politicians across the state reacted to the House-approved bill. Both Democrats and Republicans emphasizing the need to pass legislation to avoid a federal shutdown. U.S. Representative Zach Nunn released a statement in response to the latest legislation avoiding a government shutdown. Nunn saying in part, we cannot continue stumbling along with continuing resolutions that do not cut spending. But we also cannot right the ship by letting it sink. Iowa Congresswoman Ashley Hinson weighing in as well, saying she agrees with today's vote. Hinson saying in part, D.C. is so beyond broken, and it's the American people who feel the pain from the brinksmanship, not politicians. And this morning, Democrats held a press conference ahead of former President Trump's ex expected visit tomorrow. This conference was also held in response to the looming government shutdown. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, DNC Vice Chair Kevin Martin, and Iowa House Leader Minority Jennifer Confers hosted the event. Martin and Confers pointing blame to the GOP for the potential shutdown. And at what expense, right? At the expense of American people, hardworking men and women in this country and families who would be devastated if our government shuts down. You know, Representative Feenstra, Representative Hinson, they've been there. Get to work. Talk to your colleagues. Get this done. Iowans are looking to you to not just sit back and wait and wonder what's going to happen. The three also pushed the blame on Trump, saying he continues to push for a shutdown, which would then hurt Iowans.